So hello everyone, it's Thursday, I'm Johnny. Um, I hope everyone had a good week. I'm sitting here eating my awesome vanilla ice cream. Like I've noticed, I'll go to the store and look at ice cream. And I do this with most things. And I understand that the price of this is about the price of a gallon of other ice cream. But I still buy this because it's convenient. But I understand that I would get more and it would save me money if I were to buy the other one. And I do this with like anything I drink too. I could get, you know, um, I could get uh, a little, you know, 20 ounce thing of grapefruit juice. Or I could buy a fucking whole gallon for like $2 more. But then I would have to actually, and it's not laziness, I just, I under, and I, I, do, I understand that I do it. And I understand that it's, a, it's, you know, I'm not very frugal with my money, but I just, I'm like, whatever, it's easier this way. Maybe it is lazy, I don't know. Anyways, on to question time. Mm -hmm. What trait do I wish I had that I don't? a hard one. Um, I'm not sure really. I guess maybe maybe if I was maybe I wish I was more suave. No, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. That's a good answer. Um, what trait do I have that I wish I didn't? Well, I'm not sure that I wish I didn't have it, but I have this thing where I will um, say what whatever is in my head, even if it makes me look really stupid. And then I find myself having to explain to a lot of people why I said such things, because they just kind of pop out of my fucking mouth and I'm just like, ah. Yep, true story. Um, greatest epiphany. I would, I would like to lie and say that like my greatest epiphany was like finding out that God doesn't exist. Um, but uh, I, I always kind of knew that when I was a child. Same with Santa Claus. I remember going in my mom's room and finding receipts for the presents that Santa Claus had supposedly uh, bought me. Not bought, but given me. And I'd be like, what the fuck? So I guess like I was a little skeptic even when I was like four, so whatever. Um, my biggest, my greatest epiphany would be um, that people, I, one day I was in high school and I was thinking about, you know, people, and I, I just realized that inherently people are good people. They aren't out to get you. They aren't out to make your life miserable. Um, I mean, a small percentage, but generally, most people are good people. And I think that if you uh, took your car and, you know, you park in the, you know, you just kind of park outside of a gas station out in a parking spot and you go in and be like, you know, I really need to use the bathroom, and you had hand someone your keys, and you're like, can you park my car for me? And they didn't tell you to fuck off, I think they would probably do it. I don't, I think that you would be hard pressed to find someone who would actually steal your car. Yep. Unless maybe, like, you're incompetent. I guess, statistically, um, you have a better chance of getting your car stolen there. But I still think you'd probably be a little hard pressed. Um, what am I being for Halloween? I think, I, th I thought about being Harry Potter, but I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards being a Mormon. Like, just getting like, you know, a white dress shirt, dress pants, a baseball cap, or not a baseball cap, I mean, um, a bike helmet, and then riding around on a bike, maybe hand out little leaflets, knock on people's doors annoyingly, and then press my views on them. You know, whatever works. I'm serious though. Mormon for Halloween? For sure. Um, Nick asked, uh, do I play video games? Yes. In fact, I do, Nicholas. Wait, I don't even think your name's Nicholas. I thought it was only Nick. You're going to have to tell me that. Um, what is my favorite video game? My favorite video game of all time is Zelda for the NES. I even, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I have a Triforce tattooed on my back. One day I'll show you guys. What games am I playing now? Um, I've been playing Spore a lot. 
Uh, I play Guild Wars sometimes. I was never really into WoW. It's just not my thing. But, yeah. It's a good time. A good fucking time. Um, to answer my own question, the biggest regret I've ever had, or my a true regret, I don't know. Anyways, um, one time when the fourth Harry Potter book was being released, I went with uh, four friends to the release party at Hastings, and um, we were bored. It was like 11, or maybe it was like 10. We had to get in early because obviously a lot of people were there. And uh, we got bored, and so for fun, we decided to take all the Kama Sutra and like books with like the sexual positions, and like um, we decided to take them and then just put them uh, all over like the Harry Potter displays, like just open the Kama Sutra books, just laying open, sitting there. And uh, kids were like, Mommy, what's that guy doing to that woman? And then uh, we got kicked out of Hastings. And I really was upset because I had to wait till the next day to get the fourth book. Yeah. Can you believe that? No. It was fucking horrible. That is a true regret. Okay, my question. It's a really long one. Um, you're f okay, my question is... It, like I said, it's long, so pay attention. Your friend is sleeping at your house. You know, your, let's say your best friend's sleeping at your house and they are deep in sleep, and then you're faced with a horrible existential problem. If you don't kick your friend in the ribs as hard as you can, they're going to die. So you think, easy, right? That, uh, that, that uh, if you don't kick them in the, you know, you'd obviously kick them in the rib cage. Um, but here's the thing. If you do kick them in the rib cage, you can never tell them that you did it to save their life. So, and if you do tell them that you did it to save their life, they're going to die. So, what my question is, what excuse would you come up with for kicking your friend in the rib cage as hard as you could? That is my question, and it is amazing. Anyways, I will show you guys my picture. I drew it in paint because um, I'm in the middle of moving and half my shit is at a different house and so I was like, oh, paper is going to be kind of complicated to find late at night with only a pencil. And so I was like, fuck you, I'll do it in paint. Paint. I'm like a paint master. I'm a paint artist. For shiz. Anyways, hope you guys have, have a good weekend and uh, make sure to watch Carlos tomorrow. Much love.